Hey there, everybody. <gasps> Guess what? It's that time again. Five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock here. You know, you ever notice how it's always five o'clock right on the nose when I start this show? Isn't that incredible? It's right at five o'clock. You know, this clock does not lie. It's not one minute before. It's not one minute after. It's right at five o'clock. That's precision for you. When I say it's a five o'clock show, it's a five o'clock show. No, I'm not upset. I'm in a great mood, actually, because we're going to try a couple of things that were invented in the It's Five O'Clock Somewhere Cocktails with Kevin Test Kitchen. You know, even though it's five o'clock, sometimes five o'clock rolls around and you know what? I just don't feel like a cocktail. I don't feel like something with alcohol in it. Sometimes I just want to have something refreshing and fruity and tasty and kind of different. And that's what I'm making today. Two really nice, refreshing, non-alcoholic drinks or mocktails, as the kids love to say. <laughs> I don't know. And the first one I'm going to do is called a ginger sunup. And it's really good. A couple of ingredients you might not think go together, but they really do. So super easy. Have a cocktail shaker filled with ice and we're going to use two ounces of carrot juice. Don't let this intimidate you. It's really, really good with what I do with it. So two ounces, two full ounces of carrot juice right in the shaker there. Yum, love the color on that, isn't it great? And then two ounces of pineapple juice right there in the shaker, all right? And then we're also going to be using some ginger beer, we've used this before. It's so good in so many things and not too sweet. So we're gonna shake this up, the carrot juice and the pineapple juice. Mm, shake that up, blend those flavors. Okay, now look at this, look at the color on this. Isn't that fun? It just, it's almost neon, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? So there's that and then, I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the glass with the ginger beer and it's that Simple. <laughs> Look at that. Now, just get a spoon. By the way, you don't have to use a shaker. You can use a mason jar or just a plastic thing in your kitchen to shake up the ingredients. You don't have to have this. And then any kind of spoon, just a, a long spoon to get that, get that ginger beer right in there. <laughs> oh, oh, look the color on that. Isn't that great? So refreshing. So fun. Now, I like to garnish it with a little slice of pineapple there. Get on there, there we go. Ooh, look at that, huh? There it is, a ginger sunup. Oh, that is so good. It's so refreshing. And because of the pineapple juice and the ginger beer, you don't get a little, you don't, you don't get a hit with carrot juice right in your face. It's there and it's good, but it's subtle the ginger in there and it's, it's fizzy and it's delicious. I'm telling you, this is really great any time of day. Mmm. Oh, man. You know what? I was never the biggest fan of carrot juice, but I love it in this because it's offset with that ginger beer. So it's kind of a ginger, you know, ginger and carrot go great together. Ginger carrot soup. Oh, so good. So it's really, really nice. And the pineapple sweetness, so good. I think you'll really enjoy this. Mmm. Give it a try. I'm gonna show you another one right now, too. Now this is called a ginger sundown. We did the sun up, and now it's time to bring the sun down. And it's also really, really good and incredibly simple. The first thing I like to do, which is kind of fun, is to get a little piece of grapefruit. I just cut grapefruit into some wedges and what I like to do is take some Don's Mix. And we've talked about the Don's Mix before. In fact, I even did a demonstration of how to make it. What it is, is two parts of grapefruit juice and one part of cinnamon simple syrup. Anyway, so what I like to do is take the Don's Mix and marinate this piece of grapefruit right here. Just get it all nice and happy in there. It's gonna be so good, that's gonna be the garnish. Now, what else do we need for this? It's super easy, like I said, you just have a little bit of ice in a shaker or a mason jar or a plastic, whatever you got. And we're gonna do two ounces of pomegranate juice, good old palm pomegranate juice in there, which I love, by the way, and two ounces of grapefruit juice 
right in there. Okay. And then one ounce of the Don's Mix. Here we go again with the Don's Mix. One ounce right in here. The Don's Mix. And that's it. So delish. Shake it up. Pour it into another tall glass with a good amount of ice in there. Look at that. Ho oh, oh. ho! This is gonna be good. And now, on this one, you want two ounces of the ginger beer. It's gotta be two ounces, otherwise it just overpowers it completely. So you want two ounces of this beautiful ginger beer to go right on top there. And that's it. And there it is. Fantastic. And then I like to stir it up with the stirrer. Have that there. And then you take that grapefruit, that marinated grapefruit that I made earlier, little wedge of grapefruit, a little thing there, whoops, and you just plop it right in there, that's your garnish. Ha, oh, that's it, that's all. Let's taste it. Oh, that's good. I don't normally care for a lot of grapefruit juice. This is perfect because it's got the uh, Dawn's mix in there, which gives a little hint of cinnamon. The uh, palm, palm, pomegranate juice in there really cuts it so nice, and I love pomegranate juice. And the fun part is, a little extra nugget of joy and happiness. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, get the marinade in there. It's really good. Cheers. Try it. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So there's a couple of non-alcoholic drinks you can try any time of day or in the evening. And uh, it could be five o'clock or not five o'clock. Try them, see what you think. Enjoy. Ugh. Mm. Zingy.